Hey, what's going on you guys? Back at it with another video today. Got something a little different for you. You guys may have seen this game running around iOS or the Google Play Store. It's, uh, it's I think it's been around for a little bit. Uh, I don't think it was newly released, but it's catching a lot of heat and people are really digging it, including myself. So I'm going to take you guys through uh, just sort of the basics of the game. I've already gone through the tutorial. I've been playing this for about uh, two weeks, I think. Um, and so let's go ahead and just open a chest. I'll take you guys through it. It's very similar to Clash Royale and like the UI. Um, but I like the flat design that it has. It's really aesthetically pleasing. Um, and you can see there that these are, oh, I think they're called keystones or the gems. Um, and then bite coins are your gold. And uh, I won't watch a video because I'm recording. But you can watch videos for like uh, double... Uh, double the rewards in these like loot crate things. I'm not they're like they're essentially free chests and you can get Double the value essentially you get two. they're called okay. Yeah, they're, they're called supply drops So you can get double the value if you watch a video with them, which is kind of cool uh, I like that and then they this is something that Clash Royale really needs to do. I hope Supercell Looks at the popularity of Super Senso and is like, we should incorporate some of these things. But they've got quests. They've also got challenges. I haven't done any of the challenges yet. I've been too absorbed with uh, deck crafting and stuff like that. And then you also, this was, uh, oh, this is the news. Launch, yeah, launch celebration. Um, where did it go, though? It wasn't there. It was here? Yeah, it was here. So when you go back to the other planets, you can see that um and these are essentially the arenas so and the stars are your trophies i think it's called star power which throwback to guitar hero if you guys know what i'm talking about um so yeah when you click on all of these planets these are all of the unlocks that the planet comes with but you can see under each of them there's a little uh status bar so i'll go to mortar i've been using the mortar quite a bit um the status bar is for damage two or more enemies with a single attack. And if you do that 40 times, they give you 50 gems. Five zero gems. That's that's insane. That is... And they keep going. I mean, I don't know how long they go for And I don't know if uh, it's the same achievement each time. Oh, it looks like you get three tries. You guys can't see what I'm clicking, but you see the crown right next to the achievements. Looks like you can do that three times. And so it might, I think the first one is like 25 gems. This one is 50, so I'm assuming the next one will be 100 gems. Uh, so if you have three of those for each card that you unlock, and uh, five there, so that's, that's almost like 1,000 gems in Arena. With uh, maybe more like 800 or something like that, but... Wow. So that, that's cool. Um, this is the uh, card screen. You can see there's a few cards. Not as many as Clash Royale, obviously, but it's a new game. Um, this is the deck I've been going with. Um, that's just kind of a basic one that I was messing around with. This one was okay. I just kind of wanted to try out this striker. That was alright. And then I got the super tank, and I really wanted to use that. So I don't have a mortar in this one. Um, I replaced it for the meteor. Which is okay. Uh, it's essentially the same thing, just a one-time use for one more elixir. Uh, but it's direct damage, which isn't necessarily the best thing in here. You want to have a good amount of troops on the battlefield. But let's jump into a battle, and I'll show you guys the uh, the basics of the game and the, uh, the concepts. Oh, that's right. I'm in a new... Uh, I'm in a new arena. So unlike... Oh no, I'm back in the first one. Okay, so you guys can see the layout of this is, is pretty simple, but in the second arena, it's not like Clash Royale where they're all the same uh, layout. They're different aesthetics, but in, in Super Senso, uh, okay, so he's gonna go first. In Super Senso, the actual grid of each map is laid out differently. So that's, that's a nice change. Um, okay, so he's gonna play his snipers. In a very odd position. I hope I have a meteor. I do. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then... Yeah, kill his Senso. And... 
Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure why he did that. He's going to lose another sniper and his senso next round. Huh. So as you guys can see, it's turn-based. Um, you have six cards in the deck. Your senso spawns in, and when it dies, it dies. You don't get it back. Uh, and the other five cards in your deck stay there. Uh, the whole time, so you don't have a, uh, a rotation like you do in Clash Royale. Um, let's see if I can kill his Senso. Maybe I'll do another Meteor. Yeah, I'll do another Meteor. And then I'll go ahead and kill his Jet. And I don't know if you guys are paying attention to that, but in the top left-hand corner under my name, it says 13, uh, 1,337 damage. That's a bonus, and that's going to be dealt straight to his Senso Gate. So I didn't touch his Senso Gate, but I'm going to end my turn, and I'm going to win right there. So the, it, it's very interesting. You don't ever have to make it to the Senso Gate to win, and I didn't explain it, but those two... You'll see it in the next one. Essentially, getting to the Senso Gate isn't... I mean, it's nice if you do, but you guys want to build up combos uh, in order to get that combo damage to inflict on their... Sense okay. Let's go ahead and unlock this while I explain some more stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but on each end were the triangular things. Those are the sense okay. gate. That's where all of your cards spawn from. But on each side of uh, the my side and my opponent's side, there were like orb tripody things there. Uh, I forget what they're called. But if you destroy them, it adds to your bonus, like a, a large part of your bonus. And killing your senso also adds a large bonus. And then um, I'm not sure if, bon if bonuses for regular troops are based on their gel count. Uh, senso gel is the currency that you use, like Elixir on Clash Royale. Um, but I'm not sure if combo stacks based on the amount of gel that each troop costs. I'm not sure about that, but you want to try and build up your, your combo so that on your second turn you can deal 1,300 damage to their sensor gate. But let's see if I'm going to... It looks like I might be in the second arena now, so you guys... Yeah, so you guys can see... Well, when it's past the load screen. You can see how it's laid out a bit differently, and it's a lot bigger. I think it's like twice as big, which is crazy, but... Okay, so... Ton, ton the ton the bomb is going to go first. And you guys can zoom in and out. And if you drag two fingers up and down, you can change the angle at which you look at the battlefield, which is kind of nice. Um, and I don't know if you guys have played Little Lords of Twilight. Um, this is kind of similar. Except, I, I personally, I like it a lot more. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Let's spawn my sniper over here. Mm, do I want to feed him that kill? No, I don't think I do. I'll go right here. Um, yeah, if you guys have played Little Lords of Twilight, I, I try to get into it. It was very complicated to me. Um... And so I, I couldn't get, I couldn't really make myself play it. Uh, there was, there were too many intricacies and the gameplay just felt really slow. Like I, I understood the concept and I wanted to like it, but I feel like Super Senso executed it, executed it a lot better than Little Lords of Twilight. And I'm not sure why it might be because, uh, it's more like Clash Royale, but we'll see. Okay, so his Senso Phantasmo pulled me, which sucks. When he attacks, he, like, teleports you, which is super annoying. Um, but I'm going to have to deal with it. Can I get the sniper? No, I can't. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and get Phantasmo down. Um... Damn. Okay. I'll also get a shot off over there. Maybe move my guy over there. Okay. So a meteor over there will take out three of his guys, which is going to be awesome. And then I've got my sniper poised 
to take out his little uh, his little tower over there. And it looks like the uh, striker. Oh no, the sniper is gonna get me. So we got two of my guys. It's 131 damage. I don't think he's gonna do much. He might take a shot. Yeah, there he did. Oh, another striker. Oh man. Let's see what we can get done over here. He didn't move any of his guys, so it looks like I've got three free kills, which is awesome. Uh, it's going to cost me seven gel, but I think I can manage. Um, take a shot there. Oh, no. Take a shot there. And that'll end my turn. That's going to be half of his Senso Gate. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that again, obviously, because it doesn't have as many troops out. But I think I might be able to take out his bottom tower. But he's going to take out that one. That's going to be 131 damage. He's going to try and take out my sniper. Or he's going to try and fire on my sensor gate. Or neither. That's fine. Hmm. What do I want to do? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll go ahead and take out his little gate thing over there. It's 122 damage. Take another shot. That's another 122 damage right there. He, we both got a tower down. He's That mortar might take out my tower over there. Uh, yeah, I think he wants to get a shot off on my Sento gate. I don't know what he's doing. If he doesn't do anything, he's going to lose. Huh. Okay. Kill that. That's 300 damage. I don't even need to do anything. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, so it regardless, you don't even need to have that many troops out. I had he got my senso uh eight hours. Wow. Sweet. Um yeah, he got my senso really early on, but he had because of my I just kept meteoring him, meteoring that's a strange word. I just kept I kept using my meteor on him and he uh he had his troops close really close together so I could get that combo really easily and I you guys saw I got three troop kills which really helped me out and I just kept going for the combo um, and sometimes when he's got splash damage like that just having the snipers out and have just having a few of them really minimizes his uh, his effectiveness um, going up against me so let's let's see what's our recording at we're at 13 minutes that's a good one I wonder if I should do a challenge oh I've got quests to open so 50 coins 100 coins, win a battle, nice. Unit damage dealt, 1,500 for 200. I need to kill one more Senso. Okay, let's do another battle. This deck's doing me pretty good. I thought I would miss the Mortar, but the the Meteor serves just as well. And the, I don't know if you guys notice this, but when you sometimes when you move a troop, they have an hourglass over their head, and that's because they can't move and attack at the same time. Uh, some troops can. I don't think I have any that are in my deck right now. Um, some troops can move and attack the same turn. Some troops can move when or uh, attack and move when they spawn. I think you guys saw that with my scout and my uh, grunt, which are my three and my four, or my two leftmost cards in my deck. Um, okay, we're back in the first arena. I like doing this. The sniper can reach over here. Um, I kind of want to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, I will. And I'll also move my Senso right here. And turn. Going up against All-Star Jack. Also, an interesting, interesting thing about this game is that it tells you 
underneath All Star Jack's character picture, it tells you how much Senso gel they have, which is very strange. I mean, it's I I think you should know how much they have. I think that would be like just like on Clash Royale, knowing how much elixir elixir someone has. I I don't think it's that hard to keep track, especially in this game because you get like you get plus eight at the beginning, and I think each turn you get another one. Oh no, you get plus eight this time, so maybe it's every other turn you get more Senso Gel. Right, let's have my sniper take a shot over here. I'll have my other sniper take a shot over there. And let's go ahead and kill his jet. And... Can't make it. Mm. Yeah, I'll go over there. Yeah, so you, can, you guys can see that my scout was able to spawn and attack on the same turn. So let's go ahead and end turn and do 122 damage to his Senso Gate. What's he going to do? I'll be interesting to see how the level progression is with this game. Because even in the first, or like the second arena, you're like level four already. So I don't know what the highest level will be um, in this game. And I don't know if it has a max or not. I'm sure it does. Uh, but I, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be set up for... Oh, I could do a super tank. Yeah, I think I will. Have my scout come over. And I should be able to finish it off with my sniper. Nice. Good combo. Another combo. 300 damage. Sweet. Well played. Oh yeah, you can emote in this. They've got they've got some funny emotes. Um, they don't have a thanks, which I think they should add, but uh, they have a let's do this and a yas. <laughs> I don't emote very much in this game, but whatever. I think I might be able to meteor his Senso Gate and get it down enough. 143. Hmm. I don't know. I think I might be able to get my Senso over there anyways if the Meteor doesn't do it. But I think he's done. He can't get any combos on me, so. No, he blocked my Senso just then. But that's okay. That combo is going to be 122. And I can get my Senso over there. Nice. Alright, well, that's three wins for you guys. I think I got another... Uh, yeah, I got another Senso destroyed. I didn't get that unit damage. It was a short game. But... Oh, I got another eight-hour chest. Sweet. Alright, let's collect this hundred and I can't open it now because the other one's opening I have any oh I can open up that or upgrade that Senso I can upgrade the boomer but nothing else really all right so I hope that was a good look at Super Senso you guys it's available on the Google Play Store and the iOS as well take a look let me know what you guys thought of this video and as always like and subscribe for more content see you later